Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. In this video, we're going to show you some problems from our equations with a distributive property worksheet. Our first problem on our equations with a distributive property worksheet is 2 times the quantity x minus 1 equals 4. The first step, or the first thing you have to do when you have the distributive property, is you have to distribute whatever is on the outside of the parentheses to everything on the inside of the parentheses. So in the case of this problem, we have to take 2 times it by x, so 2 times x, minus and then 2 times 1. And then you bring down your equals 4. So we've taken what's on the outside of the parentheses, which in this case is 2, and multiplied it or distributed it it to everything on the inside of the parentheses. So after you do that, you have 2 times x minus 2 times 1 equals 4. So of course, 2 times x is 2x, and then 2 times 1 is 2. So now our equation is 2x minus 2 equals 4. So now we have to get the variable on one side by itself and constants on the other. So in order to do that, we're going to add 2 to both sides so that the 2's will cancel. And then you have 2x on this side of the equation, and then 4 plus 2, which is 6, on this side of the equation. Then the last step is to divide both sides by 2 because the coefficient on 2x is 2, and this is like saying 2 times x. So the opposite of 2 times x is to divide by 2. So now we have x on this side and then 6 divided by 2 on this side which is 3. And that's our solution. The second problem in our equations with the distributive property worksheet gives us 5 times the quantity 5x minus 5 equals 50. So once again the first step is to distribute everything on the outside to everything on the inside of the parentheses. So we will do 5 times 5x minus, you keep the sign in the middle the same, 5 times 5. Then you bring down your equals and then you bring down your constant on this side which is 50. So then to simplify you do 5 times 5x which is 25x minus 5 times 5 which is 25 equals 50. So now we have to solve for x. So in order to do that, we're going to add 25 here because we have to get rid of all the constants on the same side as x. So these 25's cancel. You bring down your 25x and then you do 50 plus 25 over here, which is 75. Then the last step is to divide by 25 because we have to cancel the coefficient on the x. These guys cancel. You're left with just x on this side and then 75 divided by 25 is 3. So the solution to number 2 is x equals 3. The last problem we're going to go over on our worksheet for the equations with distributive property is number 3. Number 3 gives us 20 equals negative 10 times a quantity x plus 8. So once again the first step is to distribute the negative 10 or whatever is on the outside to everything on the inside. And this time you need to be careful because this is a negative 10 so you have to distribute a negative 10. So you have to include the negative when you distribute. So this is like negative 10 times x plus and then negative 10 and we'll write it in parentheses because it's negative, times 8. So now we have 20 equals negative 10 times x plus negative 10 times 8. When we simplify this, negative 10 times x is negative 10x, and then negative 10 times 8 is negative 80. You bring down your equal sign and your constant on the other side. So now we have to get rid of this negative 80. In order to do that, we're going to go ahead and add 80 to both sides. 
So this negative 80 and this positive 80 will cancel. And then you bring down your negative 10x. And then 20 plus 80 is 100. So the final step is to get x by itself. In order to do that, we divide both sides by negative 10. So these guys will cancel. And you have x on this side. And then 100 divided by negative 10 is negative 10. So that will do it for our equations with a distributive property worksheet. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to our channel or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.